Now, let us talk about one more topic, which is population inversion. So, for laser action to achieve, there are three requisites that are to be satisfied. One is suitable active medium. The second is creation of population inversion. And the third is proper optical feedback. So, the second one is what we are talking about, the creation of population inversion or obviously the population inversion. So, here we say that for for laser action to take place, there are three requisites. They are first one suitable active medium, number two. Creation of population inversion. And third one is proper optical feedback. Proper optical feedback. Active medium, suitable active medium. Active medium means for any kind of a process to take place. There should be a certain medium in which the process should go on without any kind of a disruption or any kind of a disturbance. For that to take place, we may select either air medium, glass medium, water medium. Depending upon the type of action that is to be performed, we select a proper medium. So here, obviously, the medium differs from the different types of lasers which we are using. So, for any process of lasing action to take place, the first requisite is it requires a suitable active medium. Next, creation of population inversion. How do you create population inversion? Before trying to understand about the creation of population inversion, here let us try to understand what is population inversion. So, the obviously our main theme is to find out what is population inversion. It's a very simple aspect. In a for a lasing action, we say it requires a creation of population inversion. So here population inversion is understood as for lasing action to take place, achieving population inversion. should exist. So, we say that the population of the population of lower energy state must be greater than the population of higher energy state. This condition is called population inversion. So, simply we can say that if so, energy state which is E1 should be greater than then population inversion can be achieved. This process is better achieved by a process called pumping. Pumping is a mechanism. Pumping is a mechanism to achieve population inversion. Now let us try to understand about the phenomena or the mechanism of pumping. What is pumping? The process of achieving 
population inversion is called pumping is called pumping there are different pumping mechanisms they are number 1 optical pumping one is the optical pumping the next is chemical reaction third one injection of current through pn junction and uh, the fourth one is with corresponding to liquid laser that is nothing but the gas lasers so corresponding to depending upon the different types of pumping which are available then based on the types of lasers we can select that kind of a pumping so here there are different pumping mechanisms which are involved one of them is the optical pumping chemical reaction injection of current through pn junction so the other type of that is uh, the electric discharge that is discharge of electricity through gases so this is obviously related to your gas phases now optical pumping this optical pumping phenomenon is applicable in case of uh, solid state lasers and chemical reaction is a pumping mechanism which is involved with uh, iodine lasers injection of current through pn junction is corresponding to the semiconductor lasers and electric discharge is a pumping mechanism which is applicable for your your gas lasers so depending upon the type of lasers which we select uh, we obviously select the pumping mechanism so this is what we have in case of our pumping mechanism now let us try to understand one by one about all these pumping mechanisms